Without question, Second Motherhood is one of the funniest Golden Girls episodes so far. I laughed at pretty much every other line, and I do have some specific examples of things that I rather enjoyed. This is the 19th episode of the first season of The Golden Girls. This is directed by Gary Shimakawa, and there will be spoilers from now as I discuss what happens. And I don't have too many notes. My notes are not that extensive, but that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy this. In fact, I absolutely adored it. It starts off with establishing one of the two narratives that are in this episode. And Rose and Dorothy are trying to hire a plumber. And the plumber has given them a quote that's just ridiculously high. And they realise that Rose actually knows a lot about plumbing. So they start to wonder if they can repair their bathroom. And they decide to proceed with that. And we'll come back to that in a moment. The other part of the episode focuses on Blanche and a character called Richard, played by Kevin McCarthy. And she is dating him. Things are going really well. He's also very wealthy. And we have this brilliantly executed scene. I think it's the first scene where we meet Richard, but correct me if I'm wrong, where they're in his private jet. And Blanche sits in this chair and Richard's got his back to her. He's facing us. And... Blanche falls backwards in the chair, the back of the seat collapses, it's obviously a recliner, and for a, what must be a minute, it might not have been quite a minute, but for a long period of time, while Richard is making drinks at the front of the screen, Blanche in the background is fumbling with this chair and frantically trying to get it upright again, and just the timing is perfect because she gets the chair upright and looks poised and proper just seconds before Richard turns around with the drinks. And I absolutely love it. Brilliantly executed. Meanwhile, Rose is trying to fix the plumbing at night. <laughs> we have this brilliant scene where Rose is banging on the wall and Dorothy comes through to reveal in a very comedic way that her head is right on the other side of that wall. And we just have this brilliant, brilliant scene. This is kind of where the laughing out loud really kicked in. I think the first time I laughed out loud was when Blanche fell backwards in the chair. And I'm not really a laugh out loud kind of person. So when I do laugh out loud, that to me is a sign that something is really funny, at least in terms of my personal tastes. And the scene where they're in the bathroom at night and then Blanche comes in and she's talking about her, her evening with Richard. And every now and then, Rose interjects with a response of her own, but that has something to do with the plumbing. <laughs> and just what she's saying is complete nonsense within the context of the story Blanche is telling, but it's so beautifully woven together that just every time Rose opened her mouth, it was so funny. And the facial expressions from Dorothy and Blanche, I just absolutely loved them. And then we actually get a toilet. The toilet turns up. It's delivered by a character called Lou, played by Alan Blumenfeld. And he is not the kindest person. On the one hand, I understand where he's coming from, because Dorothy says they're going to install it themselves, and Lou thinks that this is a terrible idea. And if you're an industry professional, and an amateur is saying they're going to do the plumbing on their own, that you're probably going to think that's a terrible idea, and I can see where he's coming from. But to tell them, and I quote, you've got to be a man, not great. And I think that just adds fuel to the fire. And that made Dorothy and Rose even more determined to fix it themselves. And the excitement they have, as they <laughs> I've just remembered something Sophia said, I'll come back to that. The excitement they feel as they seem to be getting one step closer to fixing the plumbing is just so beautiful and so fun. And I particularly like the decision they made to have them doing a lot of the plumbing while they're in their night clothes. Because that stark contrast of feminine nightwear and plumbing works so beautifully. And it's so much fun. The thing <laughs> the thing that Sophia said, um, well, actually, something before what Sophia said was equally as fun. <laughs> I, I laughed a lot in this episode. I found this to be a very entertaining episode. Blanche is about to come home and she's about to introduce Richard to the others and she opens the front door and all she sees is Rose sitting on the toilet in the front room. It's, it's just been delivered and Rose sits down on it and Blanche's response was brilliant. But a little while after that, the other three are in the kitchen and Sophia comes in all excited because there's a toilet in front of the television and it's exactly what she wanted. So I found that to be very amusing as well. Very, very entertaining. And 
I'll come back to Blanche in a second, but ultimately what happens with the bathroom, I loved how that was concluded. Their happiness and joy at finally fixing it was really infectious. Absolutely loved it. Blanche is having a bit of a difficult situation because Richard has proposed to her and she's very happy about this. However, she met his family and his family are two young children. I think she said they were seven and nine, but correct me if I'm misremembering, but certainly they were very young children. And she's starting to get the impression that Richard might want her as a mother for the children, not in the sense that he's using her. I, I do think his feelings for her are genuine, but I feel like what he's looking for in a wife does not match what Blanche is looking for in a husband and I think ultimately she made the right decision and that is that she decided not to marry him and I think the biggest decision she made was to tell him her his children need a father and she pointed out to him not nastily but just matter-of-factly that he's hardly there for his children that his career comes first the children come second and she would come third and honestly it should be kid's wife career so he's got the mix completely backwards but I think she made the right decision as hard as it was to see because she seemed very happy but I like the fact that they wrapped this up within one episode this kind of narrative could have gone on for two three four episodes and I'm not saying I wouldn't have liked that if they did because it's a cer certainly an interesting story but at the same time I like the fact that they didn't feel the need to stretch it out they could tell the story within one episode and it works very well so I have a lot of praise for that as well because it's something that not many tv shows know how to do a lot of tv shows will really milk narratives for all they're worth because of course it means they don't have to come up with another idea so definitely something that works in the show's favor second motherhood had me laughing all of the way through it it's a brilliant episode very very funny very well done